how do we gain the support of uh, middle managers in the public sector when we try to get governance reform going in a particular country? Thank you for that question. Uh, middle level managers are normally referred to as the technocrats or technicians. Uh, in my country, we consider them as, we can look at the directors of uh, departments, head of sections, or director generals of public sector agencies. These are a specific group that have to be brought on board in any reform or change agenda. Are they uh, <coughs> opponents of change or are they supporters of change? Yeah, you know, first of all, we have to look at the cause of that change, w the purpose of the change. When you know the purpose, then you can know whether they are opposing or they are resisting. Uh, back home in my country, we, have, uh, we are a first reforming country, and uh, some of the reforms, uh, or most of the reforms, require the support of the public sector managers. But some of the reforms, which are not well packaged, receive resistance, or I prefer to use mixed results, because resistance is uh, sometimes a negative uh, phrase but I call it mixed results. And uh, <coughs> in most cases, the, uh, these reforms come from top down, in most cases. Uh, Is this particularly important in the implementation phase of reforms, as against when you're trying to get the law passed? Can you talk about the difference yeah. in those two phases? Yeah. yeah, it's very important in the implementation phase in the sense that policies, the policy direction of the government is set up by the cabinet, is set up by the certain structures, uh, political leadership. But when it comes to uh, the implementation, the actual implementation, it goes down, percolates down to the, these middle level managers who have to interpret policy into implementation. And they, in most cases, they even go further to disseminate and, uh, the, and ensure awareness among the various stakeholders. Because the impact of these policies that are going to affect either the public sector or the private sector, or the civil society. The, the people who play the spokesman role, or the, even who draft the, the press releases, are these middle-level managers. So what motivates these middle managers? What motivates them? or what Why should they support reform? What will motivate them is when they're involved. When they're not involved, be sure you'll have mixed results. When they are, when they, what motivates them is when they're involved, when their their ideas are uh, used as resource input for a policy, when they have been involved in the drafting, in the review, in the validation, in the dissemination, in the packaging of messages, they will get motivated. How but do you make this happen in a developing country like uh, Rwanda? There must be a lot of things going on. How do you ensure that there's all this high-level involvement by middle managers? Yeah, you can test it. You can test it through a process of right from the initiation st uh, stage, then the, okay, the concept, first of all, the initiation, then you go the consultative process, and then finally with the review and the validation. That can be tested, and, and the, uh, once the middle level managers are, are used, uh, back home uh, we have, for example, in, in any reform, we have something like they call a concept note, or some philosophical thinking behind any reform. So you share the concept note at an early stage with the middle very managers? Yeah, very, very necessary. Very, and very necessary. What kind of process? Uh, do you just send it out? Is there a discussion, a dialogue, normally, an open forum? Normally, the concept note, there's a drafting phase. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a drafting phase, and this drafting phase has various uh, structures. Either you have a national focal point, which has all these middle-level managers, or you have a technical committee, but then you will get a, a, a national steering committee which has a political leadership. So there will be a report in arrangement back and forth during the concept, the, the development of the concept. And then when you go, each phase has to have that type of back and forth. So there's top down and uh, bottom up. 